hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to talk about jmeter stepping thread so before stepping thread you need to install jpgc standard set extensions in my previous video i have explained how to install plugin manager and then how to install third party or other available jmeter extensions so you can see my video to know how to install these plugin manager and the corresponding extensions so once jpgc extensions are installed then we can have threads here then we can have jpgc stepping thread group available so click on it now you can see in this thread group we have some extra features it has action to be taken after a sample error occur it it can continue it can start with the next thread loop it can stop thread it can stop test so there are certain other parameters which we are going to talk about today so stepping thread is very useful where you need to perform a performance testing with a constant load and you you have a predefined uh, mind map where you are decided how much time will take it uh, to load uh, number of users how much time the load sh should remain on a particular URL on a site so there are certain parameters like this group will start with 100 threads so total number of threads will be 100 here first wait for 0 seconds what is that it means when we will click on a site then first jmeter will wait for number of seconds are provided here then it will start to put load from the users for example i am putting 10 seconds here then start zero threads so it means after taking a rest of 10 seconds then it will start with number of threads let me add it 10 threads here then it is asking me next add means how many number of uh, users you want to add further after how many seconds then threads after every 10 second and ramp up period ramp up as you know the time period in which number of users log in so currently i am putting 5 here then there is another parameter which asks me for hold the load for number of seconds so basically it will hold the it will hold the load on on a particular website or url or a link where you are putting the load so currently i am putting here 60 seconds which means one minute finally stop means you are decreasing the load so here i have given five so it means five users load will be decre decreased after every one second so i can put five seconds here now now you can see the graph below below displaying as per the defined parameters so what what we can see here first it will wait for 10 seconds then it will put 10 users load after every 5 seconds which is the ramp up period so it will constantly put the load till here so when 100 users are loaded to the application then it will wait for 60 seconds this this state line describes the load remains constant till 60 seconds then it will start decreasing the load as per this given setting so it will stop threads by by five threads and after every five seconds the thread will be decreased and then finally when it will reach to fi five minutes then the whole thread load will be finished so you must have seen how it is different from the normal thread group where uh, there is no need to define the iterations here here the parameters that we define are pretty clear and pretty easy to understand where we are defining the wait time load time and constant load time so it is very helpful when you want to put some load constantly on your site and to to get the stretching point of a site so guys thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel to have more videos thank you very much